Hello everybody, my name's Paul Tace. Uh, so I want to do something a bit different in this video. Um, also, I've decided to shoot outside today. It was a nice day, uh, nice and sunny. Hopefully a lot of you guys are going to be getting back out there with your drone. I know I'm certainly planning on doing that very soon. Um, <laughs> but just before we get started, uh, I had an accident with my clippers, which is why I'm wearing a woolly hat in the sun. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to shoot the video anyway. Um, the plus side of this is that uh, I can try out my new green screen. I don't have to worry about my hair being a problem. Okay, so I've got my green screen up there. It looks like there's quite a bit of shadow on there. So it might not even work. I might just, I might just have a green background, but hey, uh, at least you know why. Um, so let's get started. Okay guys, so in this video, I wanted to try out something different. I haven't posted a lot of videos recently and it's, uh, it's more because I didn't know what to post. I don't want to post things just for the sake of posting them. Uh, so what I'm looking at doing is um, focusing on one shot at a time. Um, telling people how to get the best results. Uh, it'll also give you an idea of um, what shots you can use. So if you watch a few of these videos, hopefully you have a bigger portfolio of all the shots you can think of doing. And then eventually um, you'll just be able to go out and great, take great videos, whatever the situation. Um, now the first one I'm going to start off with is going to be really simple. But before we get into that, this is going to be the first community project that we are going to attempt. So um, I set out a poll a while ago and um, over 90% of the people that took part in that poll said they would like to take part in a community project where you send uh, videos over to me, I'll edit them and make a video of all of our, all of our drone shots together and uh, hopefully it'll be really awesome. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the shot in this video and then um, tell you the best ways of getting the best results from doing this shot and then at the end I'm going to tell you um, for the video that we're doing for the community project, the best settings to use. So hopefully all the videos will go together nice and smoothly. So the shot we're looking at today is actually really, really simple. And it's just because it's the first project. Um, I want as many people to take part as possible. And um, okay, I don't want it to be too difficult. And I think it will work really well as a community project because all the videos should hopefully just flow straight into one another. Okay, so the shot we're gonna be looking at today is uh, following a straight line with our drone. Now what we're going to do for this is um, go into the drone settings, um, go into the camera settings and make sure we have got the grid set on. Uh, not actually the grid, the uh, little crosshair in the middle. Um, this is going to ensure that we are shooting uh, with the line we are following in the middle of the shot. <laughs> now the second thing, um, for this one in particular, not necessarily for everyone you're going to do, we're going to angle the camera at 45 degrees downwards. And um, basically what we're going to do is just go along and follow a straight line. <laughs> now I know that's really easy to do. Um, when I was first starting, there's a few things that you would that you'd probably end up doing, um, which is maybe moving the camera up or down a bit, just uh, as you're moving along, you sort of see something, you get a bit distracted and you're like, actually, I'm going to change my angle and start shooting that. But for this shot, what we're going to do, we're not going to move the camera at all. We're not going to change the steering. We're just going to get the, um, the crosshair set up with the line, make sure it's in the middle of the shot and then just uh, follow this for about 10 seconds or so. Um, we're not going to veer off and we are not going to change speed and we are certainly not going to tilt side to side. Okay guys, now there's some other things we can think about when we're doing this shot. Um, the first one is if we're following a straight line, sometimes it may be a bit boring. So we can put something in there to follow, perhaps a car, a vehicle, or even yourself, maybe somebody cycling. So anything with a bit of interest on the line is going to really work. Another thing we might want to think about is what's on either side of the line. I've seen some really good videos before where one side you've got grass and the other side's dirt and the line sort of separates the picture. Now um, there's loads of different ways you can do this and it'll be really interesting to see what you guys can come up with. So we could be following something like a canal or a river, uh, a road, a wall, uh, maybe even like arrows on straight lines on the floor. Uh, just anything that could be fun. It'll be really great to see your interpretation. So hopefully next time you're out you'll bear this in mind. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have a community project where you can send through your videos through to uh, ptdrones at outlook.com and when you do this, uh, what basically is going to happen is I'm going to take all these videos and put them together into one massive long community project. Okay guys, so let's, let's go over some uh, project guidelines or some project rules. Um, basically, um, if this takes off well and we get a lot of these projects, um, the first rule is going to be I won't use any videos where people are flying dangerously or illegally. Um, they just won't be included in any of the final shots. And the next one is just make sure that you keep yourself safe and also uh, any property around you safe. I do not take any responsibility for any drone crashes or any, anybody getting hurt doing this. Uh, <laughs> that's entirely on the drone operator. Okay guys, now for this one in particular where we're just following the straight line, 
Um, there's going to be a few things that will help. Um, if everybody does the same thing, it should make it easier for all the pictures or all the videos to float into each other. Now, uh, the first one is going to be, we're going to be about 40 meters high. So ideally, this is going to be for a sub 250 gram drone. I have the Mini 2 in mind. Um, if you do want to fly a bigger drone and you have your, um, your GVC, uh, 50 meters should be fine as well. But ideally, we want to be fine at 40 meter height. We want the uh, gimbal angled down at 45 degrees and then we're going to put it in a continuous or um, in sort of cine mode and we are going to be shooting at, and we're going to be moving forwards at full speed in cine mode which should be around five meters per second. So that's basically it. You're going to have your drone with a 45 degree angle with the camera downwards. We're going to be shooting at full speed in cinematic mode and we're going to be following a straight line at 40 meters high. And as I said earlier, there's a few things you can do to add interest to this. You can have yourself walking forwards. That could be really cool if everybody did that. But maybe you want to follow a vehicle or maybe you just have a really nice shot and you can follow that along. Okay, guys, so if you are interested in taking part in this project, I'm going to drop my email link in the description down below. Um, I recommend using WeTransfer to send the files. If you send a file that's five to 10 seconds long, it shouldn't take very long to do. I'll, I'll link WeTransfer in there as well. It's basically a free way of sending things over the internet. Um, it's really easy to use and it's free to use as well. So um, it's, it's, it's how I'm going to recommend doing it. So to enter, send a WeTransfer file to uh, ptdrones at outlook.com, put in the subject heading project one, and then everybody that has sent over videos before the end of this month, which will be uh, the end of March, um, I will take all of these videos and use them together. So when I'm putting all these videos together, I'm gonna to be putting them to music. The resolution is going to be 1080 pixels. That means if you've got a mini, um, you can also take part, not just if you've got a mini too. Um, if you shoot at 4K, that's fine. I'll just reduce it down to uh, 1080. So I'm gonna be putting it onto a timeline of 24 frames per second. So ideally, uh, that is what um, everybody else should use too. Okay guys, so when you send your videos in, do put in uh, your username and if you've got a YouTube channel, I'll link that in the video description below the new video that comes out. So um, everybody will be able to find out who's done the video, who's taken part, and also see your channels if you have them. So um, guys, let me know what you think, if this is a good idea, if this is something you want to see more of. I personally think it's great. It'll give you like a, a portfolio of different shots. You can try one at a time. And then these are things you're gonna have and uh, know how to use and just come up with easier in the future. Um, it's also gonna help you hone your skills and get out there with a the drone and also give you some publicity as well. So um, hopefully it's something that you'll enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, try to be kind about my head. I know what sort of comments I'm gonna get, but um, I welcome anything. Um, so that's it for this video, guys. I hope to see you in the next one.